Okay, for this short video, I'm going to introduce two new layer types because of our drawing. We have a hatch and a new line type called a cutting plane line. Let's take care of that now. Section lines will be blue and they are going to be 0.25 millimeter and cutting plane lines are going to be cyan and they're going to be as thick as our object lines 0 0.60 and the line type is not going to be continuous we need to go load that line type which is called Phantom 2. Hidden line should be hidden too. We'll load up hidden 2 instead of hidden. If you ever want to save your layer states you click on this button here layer states manager as you can see I already created one I can import excuse me I could export my layer state I'll update mine and now it's I could use it for future drawings so our section lines will be on layer section give it a dark color so you don't really have to see it very clearly and we need to add a cutting plane line and this is how you would do that in this program and to switch to the cutting plane line layer you turn on an object snap called quadrant draw a line down that's a plain plane line. It does need to extend above and below the drawing. About a quarter inch, 0.25. And to continue the cutting plane line, you'll draw lines with arrows pointing the direction of the cutting section that you see in this view. So I go to annotate and I use the multi-leader command. And I'm just going to draw a line to develop to show an arrow, so I'll type in 0.5 as a distance. But I won't type in any text. I just need the arrowhead. I'll do another one over here. It needs to be just a little bit longer than 0.5 for when I'm gathering. I just need that arrowhead. I could just hit the escape key to not add any text, and I could just move these from the endpoints. Okay. The arrowheads could be larger, I'll work on that and what you see here. But the cutting plane arrows point in the direction of the section. This is a hidden line. And we have another new line type. Center line type. We'll add that to our layers. I like to use red for center lines. The line type is going to be not center, we're going to use center 2. The pattern repeats itself a lot easier to see. Thickness of the center line is 0 0.30. That means I need to update my layer state. I'll export it again. Okay, this drawing is complete. Go ahead and save it.